Coming up on the Class of 2019 edition of Inside the Tribe, some of our seniors tell us what the future has in store for them. Plus, we'll get a look back at some of our seniors during this past year. Inside the Tribe starts right now. Now, from the Raider Nation, and voted one of the best in the Midwest, this is East Peoria's own Inside the Tribe. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Dawson Doubleair. And I'm Becca Ransom. The anti-bullying thought of the week was said by President Barack Obama and submitted by Ms. Dawson. Each of us deserves the freedom to pursue our own version of happiness. No one deserves to be bullied. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. As a reminder, mental health is essential to everyone's overall health and well-being, and mental illnesses are common and treatable. It's important to pay attention to both your physical and mental health, which can help you achieve overall wellness. Congratulations to the May Student of the Month, Caitlin Jones. Caitlin was nominated by Ms. Pittman for being a positive influence on the kids around her, seeking to help others, and being an overall wonderful human being. Congratulations, Caitlin. Corral auditions will be the entire week of May 13th. See Ms. Church for details and to pick up an audition packet. Are you interested in being a peer mentor for Unified PE? If so, see Ms. Romeo, Mrs. Ridge, Mrs. Carlson, or go pick an up, up an application in student services. Applications are due by, by May 13th to Mrs. Romeo. Jack and Sarah started it all, and they're back to give this week's and their final Raider report. Here are Jack and, Jack's gags and Sarah LaHood. Welcome back to this week's Raider report. The boys track team competed at Pekin High School Friday, April 26th in a 14-team invite. The boys walked away with multiple medals as well as 12 lifetime best performances meddling for the Raiders were Keaton Vandal, who placed third in the mile with a lifetime best performance, and Nick Waller, who won the discus with a lifetime best and state qualifying distance of 149.5. If he repeats the performance at sectionals, he would be advancing to the state meet. Of the 17 boys who competed, there were 12 lifetime bests, including David Duffer, Blake Harriman, Colby Miller, Noah Kirby, Keen Vandal, Sam Williams, Seth Bollinger, Cole Hagedorn, Egan Dickerson, Garrick Pepsil, Nick Waller, Keen Vandal. The boys returned to the track on Friday at the Morton Invite. Great job, Raiders. Next up are the results from the girls' track middle line of varsity meet. Jexy Boulding earned first place in the pole vault and was named first team all-conference. Ilana Burwell earned third place in the pole vault. Tatum Eads earned fifth place in the 100 meter. The 4x4 100 relay of Farquez Huffman, Jay Boulding, and Eads earned fourth place in the 4x4 100 relay of Farquez, Moeller, Messer, and Lindo earned sixth place. Nice job, varsity. Freshman sophomore results from the Mid Illini Conference are as follows. Tressa Tucker earned second place in the 3200 meter. Lizelle Lindo earned third place in the 400 meter. Hannah Muller earned fifth place in the 800 meter. And Riley Fortune earned fifth place in the 1600 meter. Congratulations to the EPCHS students who placed fourth in the Mid Illini Automotive Competition at ICC last Friday. Er earning medals were Jaylee Seaton, Lester Massey, Hunter Bernard, and Bobby Morgan, CJ Quizeda also contributed to the team's performance. Look for the auto team's race car project on this track week at Farmer City Raceway and Peoria Speedway next week. Another shout out goes to David Duffer, Jared Briggs, and Skylar Meyer for winning the Middle Line Eye Welding Competition. Congratulations to our Special Olympians, Melody Potter and Ryan Mel Mel Melanie, finished third in the 50 meter race and received a bronze medal. She qualified for state with her first place finish in the softball throw. Ryan finished in the third place in the 50 meter race, also earning a bronze medal. He placed seventh in a very tough division in the softball throw. What a great way to represent EPCHS, Melanie and Ryan. Before they competed on Saturday, our EPCHS tribe set the Olympians off in style. Take a look at what our hallways looked like last Friday afternoon. So our work here is done. 
This is our very last Raider report. Keep winning EPCHS and give Inside the Tribe something to shout about. I'm Jack Skaggs. I'm Sarah LaHood. I'm Josh McCartney. I'm Carson Forbes. And I'm Jordan Lee. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Take some time this week to find an opportunity to thank some of our hardworking East Peoria teachers. National School Nurses Day is Wednesday, May 8th. Mrs. Barkley, Mrs. Cook, and Mrs. Potendike appreciate the opportunity to work with all EPCHS students, encouraging healthy choices and promoting a readiness to learn while in the classroom. The Illinois Central College Penguin Players Program offers students with special needs and mentors performing arts opportunities. To register for the 2019 ICC Penguin Players, visit the link at the bottom of the screen. Congratulations to the EPCHS welders on their second place finish in the Middle Illini welding competition last Friday. The welders are Jared Biggs, Jared Pheasant, Skylar Myers, and David Duffer. Great job, guys. Congratulations and best of luck in all of your future endeavors to our three EPCHS retirees, Mrs. Linda Ricks, Mr. G Jim Haddocky, and Mr. Willard Deerman. Are you looking for a job this summer? Arkel Sladek Detasseling is hiring high school students for their summer crew. Free treats are given to all workers and super pullers can earn $10 an hour. If interested, stop and pick up an application in Mr. Roman's room 339B or visit www.detasseling.net. Attention seniors, there will be a mandatory graduation assembly on Monday, May 6th during Raider Hour in the auditorium. All seniors must attend the meeting. Attention seniors, remember that in order to attend project graduation, you must have a signed permission slip. Signed permission slips can be turned into the Dean's office. If you still need a permission slip, stop by the Dean's office or Mr. Herman's room, 253C. Up next, some of the class of 2019 will tell us what their future has in store for them. Then we'll get all sentimental as we take a look back on the seniors last year. I plan to go to ICC and then transfer to OSF to become a nurse. I'm going to go to ICC and then transfer to a four-year college. I'm going to be going to the University of Missouri to study finance. Uh, I'm going to ICC for two years and I'm transferring to OSF to become a nurse. I'm going to FIDM to study fashion design and costume design. I'm going to Monmouth College to play softball and volleyball and major in biopsychology and minor in forensics. I plan on going to ISU and studying psychology in hopes of becoming a BCBA. I am applying to a STEAM Fitters Apprenticeship after graduation. I'm going to ICC to major in business. I plan on going to ICC for two years and then transferring to OSF College of Nurse. I'm going to ICC for physical therapy. I'm going to ICC and studying computer science. I'm going to San Diego to study business administration. I'm going to ICC for my gen eds and then I'm transferring to an online college to do ministry. I'm going to St. Ambrose to study occupational therapy. I plan to go to ICC for two years and transfer to a four-year college to major in law. I'm going to Bradley University and I'm studying mechanical engineering. I'm going to UIC and I'm becoming an electrical engineer. I'm going to ICC to study photography. I plan on going to ICC for two years and then transferring to OSF College of Nursing and becoming a pediatric nurse practitioner. This next segment of Inside the Tribe is brought to you by a class of 2019. I hope the days come easy and the moments pass slow And each road leads you where you want to go And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose Hope you choose the one that means the most to you Hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean Whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance And if it's cold outside, show the world the warmth of your smile But more than anything, more than anything I hope you dare That dream I'm dreaming There's a voice inside my head saying You'll never reach it But I, I gotta keep trying Gotta keep my head held high My wish for you Is that this life becomes all that you want to do Stay small and 
never need to carry more than you can hold But while you're out there getting where you're getting to I hope you know somebody loves you And wants the same things too Yeah, this is my wish Hope when you take that jump You don't feel the fall Screams out the scream of your name. Hope if everybody runs, you'll say it's always gonna be another mountain. I'm always gonna wanna make it move. Always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, listen to Becca Ransom every day during Raider Hour. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at inside underscore the tribe. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Dawson Double Air. And I'm Becca Ransom. And from all of the seniors at Inside the Tribe, and for our very last time, have a great Raider!